Welcome back to another video, Fragrance Family. This is Nick with Consumer This, the channel where I post a fragrance review every Sunday. And as a consumer, consider my thoughts, opinions, impressions, reviews, what have you. Today is pretty exciting. I mean, there's a ton of reviews out there for this particular fragrance. I just want to put my two cents in on it. And actually, I'm not only going to review this fragrance and tell you what I think about it, I'm also going to be bringing in its counterpart, what, what a lot of people say this fragrance smells like for a way, way less expensive alternative. I have one sprayed on this hand and the other sprayed on this hand. It's been about 15 minutes, so we're, you know, the top notes are kind of dissipating a little bit big difference in my opinion the fragrance that i am going to be reviewing today none other than creed's royal oud guys this fragrance is amazing and honestly when i did my very first video when i was thinking about doing fragrance reviews in my closet when i shot that on my iphone I noticed I had all these fragrances, over 120 or so, a lot of niche fragrances, but I had no, even someone, I think someone mentioned it, where are the creeds, where are the bonds? And it was really by that, like that by design, to be honest with you, because, you know, I have, here in the Midwest, I have a Saks Fifth Avenue, so I was able to smell all the creeds, all the bonds, and all the Tom Ford private blend line in Joe Malone, you know, things like that, but I wasn't that impressed with Creed, to be honest with you. In Bond, especially Bond, uh, I still don't have a Bond yet. There's a couple that, you know, I have on my radar, but for pr price to what you get, I'm still not there with the Bond, but Creed, there are three I mentioned before. This, Aventus, I own this and Aventus now, and Silver Mountain Water. Currently, those are the only three I feel that are full bottle worthy, in my opinion. But anyways, let's get to this review here of Creed Royal Oud. And the counterpart, of course, you frag heads already know what I'm about to bust out. It's Lomani Black Intense. So, like I always do when we dig into the reviews and kind of do a little research on Fragrantic, um, you will see... Of course, this was first, so this is, you know, the and, uh, copycat, so to speak, for the less, way less price. I think I picked this Lomani up for like 15, 20 bucks, which you really, you, you can't beat it. Now, when it comes to quality, of course you get what you pay for when it comes to Creed. I mean, this is the Creed. I can't even, it's been 15 minutes and I, like the Lomani, it's like barely there. You know what I mean? It's just like very faint. The Creed on the other hand, and I can even see on my hand the Creed's a lot more oily. I don't think the light's going to really pick that up, but the Creed, it's like I just still sprayed it. It's really fresh and potent and strong. Now, that's another thing. A lot of people with this Creed fragrance here, this Royal Oud on Fragrantico, when I was reading through the comments, they're like, I get horrible longevity. The longevity sucks, the scent's great. Longevity, long guys, this is beast mode. I don't, I don't know if I'm lucky. I know that Creed is very batch oriented with, the, with their fragrances or whatnot. Now, I did look up this uh, lot number on the back here and it is a 2015 batch code for those of you that care to know. But spraying this on skin, not only is the longevity, I, I, well, first time, I think I got six, eight, I, eight hours, easy. And not only is it the longevity really good on this fragrance, when I sprayed this on my hand, I think I did like two or three sprays on my, on my hand and wrist and three hours later, I had company over, and they said, "What? What is that? It smells so good." And I go, "Was it? Was it this?" I kind of like waved my hand, and they're like, "Yes! Oh my gosh! What is that? That smells amazing." I get major compliments on this. Personally, a lot of people say that this is a cold weather fragrance. 
I'm, I'm going to say signature scent worthy. Of course, it's going to favor colder weather because of the spicy, woody, you know, fresh aspect of the fragrance. But if you're controlled environment, office, and, you know, things like that, it doesn't really, where it doesn't really matter, then, you know, something like this, this is, I, I could easily wear this all year round signature scent. It just smells amazing, guys. And, you know, the, the Lomani, it does... Okay, so first blast on on each hand, smelling them. The Creed smells more complex, more deeper. It's the same type of scent. And like what I mean is like a strawberry smells like a strawberry. That strawberry smells like, you know, strawberry. One may be a little bit different, you know, like say it was outside. It's still a strawberry. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, so basically, the Lomani does smell a little similar to the Creed. As far as smell goes, they are, I'm not going to say the same, but they're very close. But this is a prime example of where you get what you pay for. You can definitely smell the depth and the richness and the quality in the Creed, 100%. Like I said, I still smell it on my hand. This smells very synthetic. Um, it's it's just it's very light. It's it fades away super fast. I mean, longevity on the Lomani. I might get lucky if I I have to. And for one, I have to spray at least 15 sprays of this compared to like three sprays of Creed. And even when doing that, I get lucky if I get two or three hours out of this Lomani. It's that bad. They did a good job at, you know, recreating the smell of this one, the, the Creed, but, uh, you know, the Creed's got it beat on all aspects. And I got, I got a really good deal on this hard to, hard to find frags. Uh, I'm going to leave a, a link in the description below of where I got this off eBay. The dude, super, super awesome guy I worked with. I And I think I got this for like 170 and you know, compared to the retail, that's a very good deal. Brand new in box. Let's go ahead and jump into some of the notes real fast and a little more information on each fragrance so I can kind of give you a better description of, of what I'm saying when, when I'm saying that they smell so similar to each other. So let's check and it out. I want to start out with Creed first, guys. So basically, this is how personally I've been able to decipher a real Creed from an imitation. Keep in mind, be smart, use your common sense judgment, and do lots of research. If you're going to be purchasing fragrances like Creed on the gray market, because they are heavily faked. One, one right off the bat, if a Creed fragrance ever comes in cellophane wrap like a plastic wrapper of any sort don't get it it's fake on creed fragrance bottles guys the um there it's 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 like braille it's raised it's not a flat white box um and it has the creed logo all around it i think some of them may be a little different but for the most part they all have texture and they're all raised and this is another study study the crest study the emblem it's also textured and it's always raised and it's like a like a real sticker on there i could like peel that sticker off on this particular one at least <clears throat> excuse me and another thing is they will right when you open it up it'll kind of come with this little this little card and it has Creed Crest 1760, some French stuff on the inside. It'll have some some writing. Everything is just attention to detail with Creed. It's 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 just you you can tell you have a quality product in your hand. I mean, even the little card here has like a gold. It looks like gold leaf. That's that was printed on there. It's all shiny. You know, so I'm not gonna go on a real detailed review about packaging. I mean, that's so boring, but you know, it's it's very important though. It's, at the same time, you know, when 
when you're spending that much money on something and you want to make sure it's you know a legitimate product the low money it just comes in a little black uh, I, I, I would have to dig through the box full of boxes but um, I don't think they would fake a little money. I don't. It's it's a very inexpensive fragrance. So that is like a mini little bottle presentation. But this this uh, information I'm gonna go over with you guys real quick is very interesting. I I I love this fra this fragrance. This Creed Royal Oud here, guys, is just it's an amazing juice. It really is. It's a compliment getter. It's very unique. It's the complete opposite of Aventus, but it's just as good as Aventus, in my opinion, for the wow factorness. The the name of this is perfect. It, it's a royal fragrance. It's just, and it has like a, I don't know if you can really see. Yeah, there you go. That's the color of the juice. So it was released in 2011 by sixth generation Oliver. Olivier, Olivier Creed, Hordes Woody Musky Powdery Citrus Oud. I get the Woody, I get the Musky, no powder. Don't know where that really came from. There is some citrus on the top notes. I, I can see that in Oud. Mm. It's done in such a way that if you are used to smelling like Oud fragrances, this is going to be totally different to you in a good way. Like. Tom Ford, Oud Wood, you know, it's just a different take on Oud, in my opinion. However, Creed Royal Oud is not medicinal at all. Now, the top notes include lemon, pink, berry, and bergamot on the Royal Oud. Royal Oud also contains on the middle notes cedar, galabanum, angelic root. The base notes are regal indian oud sandalwood and tonkin musk so like i said royal oud was launched in 2011 we already went behind the nose uh about the nose of the fragrance and it does show right there that it 35 people voted yes it does smell like lomani intense black this, this fragrance has a lot of love, guys, you know. We're not gonna go into all that. Now, the Lomani main accords are woody, balsamic, oud, fresh, spicy, and citrus, which is like a dead-on accord for Creed Royal Oud. And this is funny. So remember how, how I said the top notes on Royal Oud were lemon, bergamot, and pink berry? Well, this is Lomani is lemon, bergamot, and pink pepper. Middle notes for Lomani are atlas cedar, uh, galabanum, nutmeg, and herbal notes. Base notes are sandalwood, oud white musk and incense so basically the ingredients guys are copycat the exact you know the exact same thing and again you know these two fragrances as far as smell goes yes i can see where the similarity is but if one like me myself just did uh, were to spray one on each hand you will immediately see the difference creed high quality still still you know half hour later and now it's starting to develop you can tell it's starting to take a turn to to a really woody little bit of sweetness coming out the spiciness is starting to kind of subdue but it's still strong you know it's still the the siage is still just it's still projecting I, i'm not i'm not joking i can't even smell this uh lomani anymore I mean, when my nose is right up on my skin, I can barely smell it. It's very faint, and 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 that just goes to show you, you know, you're not gonna, you're not paying for the quality here. You're not gonna. It, it does. It doesn't. I, I can tell it doesn't have a high quality of a high um, amount of oil in in this Lamani fragrance. It's just. Uh, it's very weak. It's not gonna last at all. You know, if you're, if like I said, really the only thing it's going to be good for is kind of help preserving your your Creed Royal Oud. Cause uh, give these a try, guys. You can't go wrong. 
a real crowd pleaser great as far as the creed royal goes you're going to get great longevity and projection on the 2015 batch at least i can speak that for myself now i've had this fragrance i've actually i bought lamani first believe it or not and i was like yeah it's all right and then the story is with the creed i sprayed that on, on a piece of paper at Saks fifth avenue and I smelled it and I was like, yeah, you know, it's pretty good. Not a bad fragrance, but you know, the beauty that, that won me over on the Creed fragrance is the dry down. The dry down on Royal Oud is just superb. It, it just turns into a royal fresh wood with a little spice and a little sweetness. It is just to die for guys. So, and I can tell it's starting to, you know, it's starting to to, to take a turn for that stage here. So very good fragrance. Check it out guys. Creed Royal Oud. So guys, that was my take on Creed's Royal Oud and Lomani Black Intense. Definitely check them out. If you are a fragrance collector, definitely do not cheat yourself. In my opinion, go with the Creed. You can get it at a discount. Go with the Creed. You're going to love the fragrance. Get a sample of it. It's amazing. You know, the Lomani, if you got that little extra to just, you know, you don't care if you lose 30 bucks and you want to see what I'm talking about, you know, I guess it's not that bad. You could always hand it off to somebody as a gift. Someone that's not a collector is going to think it's an awesome scent and, you know, longevity and stuff like that doesn't really matter to, to you know, to an individual. Just give it to them. But you'll probably end up keeping it to res help reserve the, the Creed Royal Oud. That's what I've been doing. So... Definitely, guys, thank you for the support. Hit that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I do behind the scenes you know, fragrance photos and hauls, what I'm up to, what I'm going to be doing at Consumer This. Definitely check that out. And most of all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Stay smelling good, guys. Peace.